Some schools are letting out early today from the oppressive heat. Sartaj Singh has more on how students and staff are dealing with all the heat hot temperatures. The heat wave not keeping learning at bay as students return to the classroom, but having to deal with high temperatures along with their school subjects. I think the first thing we think about is safety. We want to ensure the safety of our kids. Delphi St. John's Junior High and High School have limited air conditioning, a situation that many schools in West Central Ohio face. The high heat causes some changes to be made to keep students safe. A few years ago, we decided to create a hot policy for our students that allows them just to dress down to start the school year. And we do that for the first three weeks of the school year because inevitably it seems like the first day of school is always the hottest of the year. And if you walk into a classroom, you see fans, fans, and even more fans, hoping to keep students cool. But if it gets too hot, teachers have the option of bringing students to an air-conditioned area. We have a chapel that's air conditioned, our auxiliary gym is air conditioned, our church is air conditioned, so all of those locations are possible for, for our staff just kind of create an alternative classroom. On hot days like today, as students frequently move through the hallways, they may be feeling the heat, and a location like this may just be their best friend. So normally I do fill up my water bottle. I try to do three times. Normally it's only two, but that's okay. I, I love classrooms that have lots of fans. So study hall, it's my first period of the day. That's the only class that has air conditioning. And while students definitely feel the heat, and I'm talking about the weather, not their studies, they know that since they are in the state of Ohio, the next day could be much better compared to last. And we usually complain a lot. Does that get us anywhere? No. But, I mean, just sitting there fanning ourselves with whatever we have. And eventually the day does end, even if it feels like ten times longer than it should. In Delphus, Sartaj Singh, your news now. Thank you, Sartaj.